Susan Estrada and her boyfriend, Susan's daughter, Daisy, sitting behind them, uh, and a young man, 13-year-old, sitting beside Daisy, had finished their day at the park and were going to a local Taco Bell in town in Southgate uh, to get some food. My daughter said, Mommy, we're gonna, we're gonna get something to eat. You know, she, she would save uh, Papa for food, like, because she was bilingual. Out of nowhere, a van pulled up behind them, and at least three men emerged, one of them being Johnny Espinoza. And as soon as she said, Mommy, we're gonna eat Papa right here, and I just started hearing the shooting, just shooting, the car stopped, the engine turned off. The men were armed with AK-47, a 357 Magnum, a 9 millimeter, and another automatic weapon and pumped 51 rounds of ammunition into that car with Daisy in the most dangerous spot. Every round that went into the car had to pass by her or had to pass through her. I got my daughter and I told her, Daisy, wake up, Daisy, wake up. And I told her to say, huh, that's, that's it. It presented unbelievable challenges. Challenges that were, in some people's minds, um, challenges that we couldn't get past. We were facing down a violent gang that had threatened retribution for anybody that testified through an enormous amount of circumstantial evidence, an enormous amount of forensic evidence, and eyewitness ID evidence. We were able to put the case together. I didn't know nothing about what was going on. I didn't know who did what. He went out and found out everything. After several months in trial, I secured a conviction against Johnny Espinoza, and I did it with the help of Susan Estrada, who, in an unbelievable display of courage, got on the witness stand and faced down that killer. Got on the witness stand and looked into the face of the man that took her little girl's life. He always said, I'm here, and he still says, I'm here. Everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna do this right. You don't have nothing to worry about. Everything's gonna work out fine. It's that kind of relationship building that I think builds the most robust trust between the district attorney's office and the community at large. If we can continue to build that trust, we'll go a long way towards solving a lot of these crimes. Alan made me feel that I don't deserve this and that it was not right. He made me feel like I was, like I am somebody.